<laughs> not usually. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry, thank you. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're crying. So what's this? What's this about? Well, actually, it's don't don't tell me. It's impotent. It's not impotent. Well, you say every week it's impotent. It's not impotent. Well, because it. <laughs> People your age, I'm not when they get to be as old as you... It's not it? impotence, okay. I'm not impotent. Oh, sorry. It's, um, it's like um, uh, I'm haunted by music. Mm. You know what I mean? No. I'm trying to explain what I mean. Um, okay, so imagine it, right? So I, I could be anywhere, I could be on a bus. Wait, right. you, don't, you don't take buses. No. But I could be on a tube, or I don't yeah, take a yeah. tube. Yeah, you, don't, you never take I could those. be in a taxi. Okay, all right. right? Yeah. yeah. And what happens? Um, if we're doing anything, I mean, any kind of discussion with anybody, I could be completely absorbed in it, but then, then it happens. I get bang, I get it. I'm like a host, and I'm being, I'm being infested right. by music. Okay. You know what I mean? Is, oh, no, I is it the whole tune or is it just a part of well, the tune? It. Sometimes it's the chorus, sometimes it's the verse, sometimes it's the lyrics, sometimes it's the... She's the one. Mm. Da, 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 da. You've got worms. I haven't had worms since I was seven. Yeah. Uh, no, sorry, uh, earworms. Um, now this is... Uh, uh, this isn't an earworm. Um, this is just a prop uh, that we got to try and bolster up the sketch a bit. Earworms uh, are not as yet medically recognised, um, but they are melodies, perhaps snatches of melodies that burrow their way into your mind uh, and won't come out. You might um, not even like it. No. Uh, well, there's nothing I can do uh, for you um, because I'm not actually a doctor. Um, I'm a sort of an actor, comedian. Um, I don't need these glasses. Uh, but there are some people at Goldsmiths University, some academics, proper ones, uh, who are doing a study into this, and I think it would be a good idea for you to go and speak to them. Blinded by the light, yeah, red down like a douche, no one even in the right. Blinded by the light, we're out of time, I'm afraid. Hello, come in. The sunshine of Hello, is, is this Vicky's? Office? Yes, it is. Please Hello, Vicky. Come in. Lovely to meet you. I'm Sean. Keeping from Six Music. Hi, Sean. Very Pleased nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Welcome to the Music Mind and Brain Group. Is that what this is? That's what this is. Well, I'm hoping I'm in the right place then. Um, I, I was wondering if you could help me with this fella in here. That little fella right there. That's an earworm, isn't it? It is an earworm. It yeah. is an earworm. It's been troubling me for some time now. They are very, very common, so you're not alone. So what, what do you know so far about earworms? Well, not a lot of research has been done. Right. But the good news is we're starting a big research project that's going to come up with hopefully some answers for you. About 90% of people at least report having earworms. And there's some interesting patterns, like women can get them more than men, and also musicians, people that love music, they're a little bit more likely to report getting earworms as well. If paradise is half as nice as... If Sorry, it's happening I'm again. With you. <laughs> and what else? What else do we know? Well, we know that these episodes can go on longer than we previously thought possible. Mm. So, a study from the University of Reading suggests that an average earworm length is about 27 minutes. But some people can get them for hours, yeah. days, or even weeks. Yeah, yeah, or years. Exactly. So what other information do you need, basically, to find out more about earworms? What, 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 what areas are you looking in? At Goldsmiths, what we can do is we can use computer programs to analyse music look at its structure and see what it's made up of. And doing that, we can come up with formulas so we can work out what the common things are that make earworm music sticky. And the other two things we're interested in is the type of people that get earworms and the types of situations that trigger earworms. You are wonderful tonight. Is that from me? <laughs> you might have inspired it. It's just come out of nowhere. But um, what can people do to help you in this endeavour to, to try and cure the earworm to find out more about it? They can help us lots by taking part in our online questionnaire. We're just launching a big research product with the British Academy and we're trying to find out as much as we can about earworms, about the people who get them and about why they happen and therefore whether they might have a purpose for us. That's all well and good but the, the subtext of what you're saying is that you can't help me now with my earworms. Right now we just don't know enough. 
But if enough people take part in the questionnaire, we will do the research and I will find some answers for you, I promise. God bless you. I appreciate any help that you can give us. Thank you very much. Tonight, baby, I want to get freaky with you. See what I mean? I do, thanks. <laughs> Horrible.